I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to do a Bible journaling page with this fortress, this strong tower. And on this page, I've left some space at the bottom for my own private journaling after the video is finished. And in this one, I am using one of the sketches from the 40 days of prayer and fasting. There's actually a free class if you're interested in joining in on a 40 day prayer and fasting experience, then you can go to the link in the description. Originally, I had done all my sketches in this small brown the tan sketchbook, and my church loved them so much we did a bunch more with them, so I kind of redid them all on white paper in the bigger sketchbook and, and just kind of revamped everything. And I've turned that into a free class, so you can download all those sketches. But let's get back to today's project, which is in the Inspire Praise Bible. This is a later version of one I had purchased previously, a couple of years ago. And I didn't just get this one. I've had it for a little while, but I wanted to flip through it a little bit to show you what it's like inside. So you can see the kind of text that there is in it, because for some people, the typography is important. So I show you that. There's also some other things that this Bible has that the other Inspire Bible did not, which is these vellum pages. And on a vellum page, they've already got it colored in. It's already printed with the color on it. You can actually do your journaling in the center of it. And it also leaves some of it that you can color. So here you can color the, the actual branches or the, the uh, trunk of the tree, etc., and then add your journaling in the middle. And this gives you kind of some interesting ideas too on how you can use vellum in your Bible journaling. So here's another one of them, and one of the flowers is not colored, but you can co color it to match all the others that are in there, and it gives you that example. So a lot of these Bibles that have art in them have lots of blank pages. You have to just make sure that the page that you want to journal doesn't already have something on it. My verse for today is, The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold from Psalm 18.2. I've traced my image into my Bible, got it placed where I want it. And one thing you'll notice on this is that you can see a little bit of the artwork from the other side that's printed on the other side of the page. And when we see that, we don't look at that really. Our eye is trained when we read books, especially when we read a Bible, we're used to seeing thin paper and you can see the words on the other side just as a gray shape. And we see that in our mind's eye as nothing. We, we just don't, don't pay any attention to it. We get really stressed out though when our drawing does that same kind of ghosting. So when you start getting worried that your drawing has kind of come through and you think it's bled and you think it looks terrible, remember that most people, when they look at it, their eye is not going to see it. You're only looking at it because you're focused on it. So relax when you see that kind of thing. But here I'm going to show you how to minimize that, the impact of that ghosting. And this is the ghosting from printed material, but you can do the same thing with your own pages. If you're coloring on the other side, I like to use pencil because pencil covers it the best. If I have a piece of art on one side and I'm working on the other, I usually go for my colored pencils. And I'm adding a flood of color in the sky. And that serves as two purposes. One is that it hides the stuff that's peeking through from the other side. And it actually makes my tower stand out more because my tower is going to be these really strong, bold, white bricks. And I've added just a few elements of my tower so far, just the really dark parts, and created that, that kind of really strong contrast. And that allows me now to go in and add some shadows. Now, you don't have to add the shadows if you're adding this to your Bible because it can get a little crazy, but I'm using a little darker color on the left side. And then I'm going to kind of make as I get toward the light, it's going to be lesser color. And I have created here some other interesting light as well. I wanted it to feel like there were maybe God rays shining on this tower. So I'm putting darker color up in the top part of this. And then I'll, I'll make another part at the bottom that's darker so that it looks like there's this light cast from the sky from between some clouds. And that's going to give it a little bit of drama. You don't have to do that part. You can just do the tower itself. But I'm also leaving some space at the bottom for journaling. Always make sure you leave yourself some space 
to tell the story of why God chose for that verse to pop out to you. What did he tell you about that? How did he make that important to you? Because that's why we journal. We don't journal just to put pretty things in our Bible. We journal because it's important to to remember what God has said. Now, notice that I've made my bricks, my lines for the bricks, much bigger, much wider than in the sketch. Because the sketch was just really detailed and had really teeny tiny bricks. My tower is also at an angle. So all the horizontal lines in the center portion are straight and horizontal. And on the two sides, they follow the same angle. And the sides of my tower, you can draw your own tower and make it straight, but I wanted mine to look like I was looking up at it. That meant I had to create some angles. And all of the angles, if you kept drawing that line, that vertical line for each one of them, they would meet at a point at the top. And that's basically how you do that kind of perspective. But you can just trace the, the sketch itself and use it simply. You can invent your own tower. And I would even recommend doing that because you can put all kinds of different tops on it. You can put flags on it. You can get all kinds of crazy. And with the bricks, each one has lines and every other line is in between the lines above it. And they don't have to be exact but I'm kind of trying to make them roughly match each other as I go up the tower. And that gives it that feel of being bricks. I'm being a little lighter with the touch on the left-hand side, even though that's more in shadow and should be darker because I want the words to remain readable. And if you forget and you kind of get too heavy with your pencil, you can always take a big fat eraser, just a big soft eraser and just go over the whole thing very lightly on the area where there's text. So I wanted to strengthen up some of my dark areas with my darker purple pencil. And then I wanted to put my fortress in a script alongside the tower itself for my headline type of journaling on this. Uh, when you're using a white pen on top of pencil, sometimes it takes going over it a little bit because you're doing the pencil or the pen on waxy pencil. So it might be a little more challenging to do that. But I put my fortress down the side, and then once the video is all complete, I'll add some journaling down below my own personal prayer about God being my fortress. So there you go for this week's video. There's uh, links in the description to the class if you'd like to join in on that, as well as the sketch. And I will see you guys again next week. Happy New Year. I hope you're having a wonderful New Year so far. It's just begun, but it's going to be a good one because God's in it. And that's all that matters. All right. Take care and God bless you. Bye-bye.